welcome back to another video of Epic Summoners. And today, I'm going to just summarize just everything in this episode. So, leave me on cliffhangers and, you know, just explain it just fully. And, you know, I'm trying to give the best advice because I know there ain't no Epic Summoner YouTubers out here, so. You know, I'm just trying to help the community. You know, if you need help, you can ask me or the developers, depending on who you like. I don't control y'all, so. Um, so let's get into it. <clears throat> so. First thing first. Make sure. So this is how it goes. Eastern time. Daily quest resets. You want daily quest done just to get rewards and to get your 100 diamonds and like 170 diamonds. Easy. And we start at 7 and it beat. And for other times it starts at 8. So, yeah. Um, that's a quick event. Um, gifts is if you want to pay to win, like I said, if you want to spend money. Or, you know, just waste money on this game. Just go here and you can buy anything. Here is where you buy a VIP. I'm just sum summarizing everything. Go ahead and pay to win. I'm on the VIP 500. Because I decided to spend a lot of money. And this is chat. You can communicate. Now here. This is. I can't explain this area. So this emblem. This area is used to dissemble lower heroes, or heroes, I want to just say heroes, just so you can get these medals on top left, promotion medals. Promotion medals gives you, well not gives you, it helps you to upgrade your team. If I go here to the star, promotion medals, you need promotion medals to upgrade them to the next star. And as you can see, there's a lot. It's, I trust me, it's not that much. It's 150. And you just click, you do it, boom, 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 boom. But I'm not doing that because I don't want to use that right now. But, go. So, I'm finna. Next up, we got Expedition. Expedition is used. Let me make sure. Expedition is used for. To get. You know, stuff. So, I'll complete an expedition to show y'all what I mean by how you get stuff. So, as you can see, you're just going to be fighting. Nothing less, not hard. The more better your team, the more hard this gets. That's why I kind of stopped doing it. Because it started giving me good awards. As you can see, two times move, level 30 pack. Only you get the item. See that? My best advice for expedition. Is the first round, like the easiest round is the first one. Just do every fight in the beginning. The second, the third one, be careful. So, you just continue on, just get a boost. And then see how that's one million. And my team almost died. I don't know how y'all dying, but that's how it is. And, what's it called? Boom, there you go. And we're just going to continuously be. I will skip this, but why not? I'm trying to show y'all the full summary of this. So, I'm just showing y'all basically how it's going to look when it gets harder. This is the hardest hard. Well, not hardest, but this is like a hard level to complete on your own. So, Mm, 1.3 million, they get tougher and tougher. Like they, these are not easy to beat. It gets more annoying each time. And you do not want to deal with that. Like I said, you do not need to do every fight after that. Probably at the beginning, but later on, you want to want to risk your team dying. I mean, I have the pieces, but still. You don't want to waste them just because of BS. So, boom. Next one, you get easy rewards. 
the Tolkien Dime and you know the cheap awards. Now this two point one million. Two point one million just to fight. And that's not even the boss. I imagine the boss. For some reason they make the mobs outside of it just harder. Two point one million. I either defeat them or I lose. If I lose, I'll just reset them. I made sure I had enough just so I can show y'all. The victory. I probably lost mine. Yep. So you just resurrect. It's not that easy as you think. See how my team, the green bar is obviously a health. And it doesn't replenish. In most areas, your health don't replenish. And my team defeated. That means my whole team died. Which means I won't be able to use my whole team. But it's okay. Because the legend. Hanzo is here. Hanzo's the legend, though. He's a legend. And, of course, it's real stupid. Them two are the most annoying people, and I hate when my friends use them. Use that. Use him. The dude, the Reaper, replen pl replenish your person health. And now you see what I mean, how the boss is way garbage than the actual people. 3.1 million. 3.1 million. 3.1 million. For what? And just like that, you finish. You know, simple wars. No. So that is simple. The adventure gate, sadly, I still can't show y'all. I need 600k XP. I will make a video as soon as I can about it. Make sure you redeem your random five star fragments. You should just want these. These are very rich. I mean, unless you need them. But after a while, they just garbage. Um, the day I'm making this video, here was probably going to end. So that means there's going to be new stuff. Recharge. I don't know if I should spend money. <laughs> if someone wanted to uh, donate me money. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Hero Pass, I completed it. I uh, got everything. The Carnival. Carnival is good. This is when you need a clan. This is the clan system. As you can see, my clan second. We're going against this team that is destroying us right now. Well, not destroying, but, you know, I got a stronger team than us right now. But it's okay. You see me coming to clutch, 100k damage. My team is good. I respect them. Uh, dog hooked me up. Uh, shout out to my boy Dark. He probably watching this. Um, yeah, appreciate you, man. And you know, basically, just working with my team. I need to upgrade. The, okay, so I'm gonna explain the new update. The Astro Lab is a thing we use to give buffs to your teammate. I mean, your heroes. Your heroes. You get a slight buff depending on their stars and their quality. For my Falcon here, he's she's a level nine with that's an epic, so she gets a six point two more attack. For my healer, she's a eight level eight with four that is an epic, so it's four point six extra health. Now if I upgrade her one more time, it'll probably be five point. Six or something like that, or six point two. For my Samuel, uh, he has four point eight more speed, and basically the speed in this game increases who going to first. And same for them. But the actual lab kind of takes pay to win, but not to be in it. First, you um, you can spend a thousand diamonds to get one of the spaces. Uh, purchase online. Uh, I know a friend in my clan who bought this. He is crazy. But I respect him for that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you're watching this video. Um, uh, what's it called? And now I know what you're saying. How do you get, um, what is it called again? They, uh, you get, hello. Also, right here, 
is what you get. So just keep collecting your friendships. <laughs> keep collecting your friendships. Yeah, keep collecting your friendship tokens, and then so you can um, attack that friendly boss. You know, it helps you out. And a way to get the astral lab is peak duel. Peak duel is a battle system where you have to make three different teams and you use them to fight people, basically, with three other teams. Now, these is not the reasonable way to get them because this is like hard. The first place gives you only four, they all give you 40. But it's a process. You're going to get 40 neither way. All you got to do is play one. So the more you get to it, the more you get. And what... Sorry if I made that. Let me explain this a little bit. So the ranking you are at depends on how much you get by playing. Since I am at... In this rank, the second or best rank, Second to best rank, you I will get forty astrolab every time I rank up. If you in the bronze league, you only get twenty. Silver twenty five, five every time you go up. The season award, just casual stuff most times, and I'm gonna show y'all. I just need to adjust my lineup. Now I know what you're saying. Why do I have these two? In my combo here, but not on here. And this, you do not want all your good players on the same team because someone's going to be a douche and they're going to put another team in front, as you can see, 60,000, which means he is planning to have his other team as good. I'm going to show y'all. I'm not going to skip the battle, I'm going to show y'all the BS. So this battle might take a little bit, but once they use their combo, yeah, okay. See how he only plays certain characters from his teams. So my team should have this. Um, my golden flower and my sweet yellow. See, this combo is the most OP combo in this game. Make sure you get them. And I will show you how to get them easily. Like when I tell you these two are OP. I have so many friends who upgrade these two, and they destroy my team. Because Lily they'll get them to level 5 and 4, and I can't beat them. I don't know why she does so much damage. Like, she does so much without even trying. You see how it's done, too? And look at this. Instant heal. He don't die. Ain't that good? Well, these are level 60s, but still. They are this good. And now they defeat them. Which is going to be 10 times easier for these to be. As you can see, it's been a combo. Bam. There. Now, watch this. Next team. 210. See what I mean? Look at, the, look at his team. He has the combo. But I put two of my combo on the same team. And now look who is the only one alive. But guess what? Since he don't have no good attack damage, he tried to put this one so that he'll take less damage, but it didn't work out, fella. GG, man. And as you can see, I won. And then you have eight games. I will try to get to the highest arena so you can get for the Astral Lab. The more Astral, once you get a lot of Astral Lab, you can upgrade. You can want, um, you'll be able to use the machine a lot more. Um, okay. So how you get, I know you're asking, how do I get sweet flower in them so easily? Now, I think, I'm not a remember, 100% sure, but you gotta be at least level 80 or 100 to get this. It is called Reborn. What Reborn does, is you can refresh well, don't, don't spend refresh, but it will refresh every day and basically give you different type of heroes that you can use for your team. Now, what you're going to need is Reborn Girls. Reborn Girls you can get from 
If you draw, you can either get it from Carnival. It's not there today, but or you can get it from the shop. It's whatever you want, but they are everywhere. And you just basically refresh and whatever you get. Then they're gonna ask for a certain hero plus three of these. Now trust me, when you get this and you have a lot of heroes and that you can use to get it, you will easily get these cards. Like the reason I have Falcon to this level is because I use that. And because the VIP has that VIP clutch. Yeah, I kinda got a VIP like two or three, one or two. But yeah. Basically that's the gist. Don't and I'm gonna tell y'all this. Just because it's a pay to win game does not mean y'all can do nothing. I have people in my clan I can name right now that play this game without paying to win. Trust me, you do not need to pay to win to be good at this game. You can do it without paying. Trust me. It's not hard. You're not forced to pay. It's up to you. So, yeah. It's up. If you take your time and effort, find the right queen, communicate, do good, you should be able to have fun in this game. Because this game, I had fun without even... I like it wasn't even bad. Like even before I even paid, it was fun. I had found the right. I found the right people to talk to. The chat was fun. You just gotta be having fun in chat. Just talk in chat first, and then you'll find your friend group, and then you'll find your clan. So, and I guess I'll explain one more thing before I go. This right here is Guy War. Guy War is a battle system with your guys. Now you will need sixteen members. No, you don't need sixteen members. You need at least ten members. There are at least over a hundred. Oh my God, I don't know, but it's like five hundred k to one mil, and you would need at least ten members to do it. And you want this system is where your guy fights another guy, and you basically just battle it out, and you try to get to the top. Right now, we are seventh as the second best. Well, no. we are the number one guys in our server, but in God War, we are the Civil League in seventh. And right now, we are facing our orange enemy, you know, so... And they are in third. Right now, we are kicking their butts. I hope they don't watch this video. Uh, I didn't mean to say that, y'all. Uh, yeah. And y'all are wonderful people. And yeah. This is where you check to get your stuff. They get you crowns. They get you this. They get you that. You know, stuff you can check. You got your friends. All that none. Uh, and I was playing these. Revert. What it does is if you upgrade your hero to a lot and you want it to go back to level one and give you fragments instead of the actual hero, this is what you do. I am not gonna do that because I like my heroes. But you see after a while when you upgrade them a lot, you get 30, 39 million, nineteen million, and all that. Replace. Replace is the area where you replace obviously the level of the person. So I can just Replace hands off for Yang. Boom. He's up 100. And just like that. This is good. And it continues from that. Um, and Forge is just the area you want to just make sure you okay, get some good gear. And you know, just make sure your team is the max. And once they get up there, your team should be looking wonderful like this. And besides that, that's the game for you, man. Oh, 
<laughs> I forgot one more thing. Sacred. Sacred is an area where you put these obviously sacreds on your heroes to make them stronger. These sacreds can be used on certain heroes and it can be just used on everyone. If you don't see no element in the top left of the sacred, that means you can use it on anyone. For these, I maxed out. But to use, you put whatever item you want to upgrade to the left and whatever you want on the right to go into it. The bottom items are the thing you are adding to the stuff that is already on it, on the top. So if I added this, this would add a 5.8% chance to block, plus the other attributes that is on this thing. But I ain't going to do that because I don't need to, and plus I don't have enough. So, yeah. So in conclusion, you can do stuff in this game without paying. You just have to be smart about it, and you just got to be one of the decisions. If I miss anything, just let me know in the chat. And YouTube, and I'll respond, and I will answer your questions. But besides that, that is the game. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, and peace.